At Harvard, a Danish scientist, Lena Howe, had the idea of using a condensate to slow down light. We all have this sense, you know, light is something that nothing goes faster than light uh, in vacuum. And if somehow we could use this system to get light down to, you know, at a, to a human level, I thought that was just absolutely fascinating. It is actually very odd. It's also extremely odd to a lot of my colleagues. Lena Howe created a cigar-shaped Bose-Einstein condensate to carry out her experiment. She fired a light pulse into the cloud. The speed of light is around a billion kilometers per hour, but when the pulse hits the condensate, it slows down to the speed of a bicycle. So the light pulse might start out being one to two miles long in free space. It goes into our medium. And uh, since the front edge enters first, that will slow down. The back edge is still in free space. That will catch up and that will create that uh, uh, compression. And it will end up being compressed from one to two miles down to 0 0.001 micron or even smaller than that. You could say, well, gee, it's easy to stop light because I could just set a laser beam into a wall and I would stop it. Well, the problem is you lose the information because it turned into heat. You can never get that information back. In our case, uh, when we stop it, the information is not lost because that's stored in the medium. And then when we have time to revive it, the system has all the information to revive the light pulse and it can move on. One day, ultra-cold atoms will probably be used to process information. But quite how is hard to predict.